It's on the 120. It's, the timing is so far out. It's huge. It's hugely out. Hi, we're back. I'm still Paul Brody. It's two days later. Yesterday we had, there was four of us, four heads looking at this thing, trying to figure out what was wrong with it, why it wouldn't run properly. So it's basically the same engine as I built last time. The only change that I've made is in the megaphone. I put on this particular megaphone, and last time the bike had this megaphone, and as you see on the drawing, you can see where the megaphone starts and where it stops, so it's a different shape. This is good for high-end power. This is better for the mid-range. But it didn't explain why the bike was so, so starved for gasoline. So we started experimenting with a carb. We put in a bigger needle jet. We put in a smaller needle. And then it seemed like it was short on fuel on the top end. So we went from 220 main jet, jet up to a 350 main jet, which is a huge jump. But then the bike ran much better. It's not perfect, but we did get it to sound OK. So we're going to take it outside now. I got another friend helping me out. His name is Blair. And we're going to fire it up. So. Thanks for looking. We like coffees, Mitch and I. If you buy us some coffees, that would be much appreciated. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time. OK, let's try this. Is it firing? Oh, got to switch on. There we go. We're on. Okay. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's got some throttle response. Yeah, it's loud, eh? It's got a bark. OK, let's go to Fort Langley. Thanks. 2001 or 2002, I had an extra race bike, Aramaki race bike, and it was named the Renter Racer. And I would rent it out to people. And I think it was 200 bucks for a weekend, which now seems really, really inexpensive. So one of my customers, it was Gary, and his Gary riding on the Aramaki. And what I recall about the day is that he hopped on the bike, and he just went around the track pretty fast right away. He didn't take a couple laps where it kind of tentative. He just went out on the track and went well right from the start. And then in the race, my recollection is that he was in second place. And then on the last lap, the mount holding the battery broke. And that was the end of the race. So sorry, Gary, that's racing. So I think I, I mentioned earlier, we both went to race school in 1999. And so we did some racing together. And often it was in the larger class after a while. So in this photo here, this is on the, on the back side of, of, of Seattle track. And there's me on, on Ruby. There's Gary on his Norton 750. And there's Duncan on his Norrish Sealy framed race bike. So we were having a, a good little dice on the back straight. And then here's another shot. OK, OK, Gary's out in front now on his Norton. And that's me in behind on my Excelsior race bike, Ruby Racer. And I'm in hot pursuit. He's not getting away if I can help it. So anyway, that's a little bit of the background of our history. We would always see each other at the track. and. Those were good times. Thanks, Gary. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.